Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Rap and Rabbit again bringing you a tutorial video of how you can make the effects of lag compensation not so harsh on you when playing Modern Warfare 3. The idea of lag compensation in of itself sounds pretty good. Leveling the playing field for all players online so that players don't get any advantage for having a stellar connection. In reality it sucks because it is not fair to those that have a good connection and rewards those with a bad connection. To simplify it all up, those who have a worse connection in the game turn out to have the best connection because of lag compensation and they can kill you faster than what you can kill them. But anyways, let's get into it. First thing you want to do is, if you have access to an Ethernet cord, it is highly recommended to play directly plugged in versus a wireless adapter. Wireless adapters are not as fast as Ethernet cords. Second, the next thing you want to do is open your internet browser and log into your router. You can log into your router by entering 192.168.1.1 in the address bar. A window will appear that looks like this. In the username field, enter admin. In the password field, enter password. These are set by default and you can change those if you wish, but no need to worry. Only those who are on your network can have access to your router settings. Once logged into your router, you want to find the port forward slash port triggering section. It may look or be different depending on what brand your router is. Once you find it, you should see something similar to this. To make lag compensation not as harsh, we're going to want to add five different values. To add these, you'll want to hit the button Add Custom Service, and you'll be doing this five times. For the service name, I'm going to name them Xbox Live 1 through 5. In the service type, you'll want to have TCP slash UDP selected. This will be the same for all five. The starting and ending ports for this one will be 88, and the server IP address should be 192.168.1.59. The IP address is also the same for all five. The second one, starting and ending ports, 3074. The third one, starting and ending ports, 53. The fourth one, starting and ending ports, at 80. The fifth and final one, starting and ending ports, 1863. Again, all five service types are TCP slash UDP, and all the server IP addresses should be the same at 192.168.1.59. Once you've added all five, you'll want to log out of your router and then restart your router. Then log back in to double check that your changes have been applied successfully. And here are the settings again, and they will be in the video description as well.